Hi, my name is Brad Williams. I'm uh, an art teacher at the Brunswick High School. Um, I uh, teach 3D foundations this semester. Um, so when Anna contacted me about uh, possibly getting my students to collaborate with Maine Eco Arts, uh, I thought it was a great opportunity for them to work uh, large scale and to also uh, think about the statement that their art can make. And uh, I thought it was a really great opportunity for their work to be presented in a gallery type setting. So um, I've, I've worked with young kids before in, uh, in uh, rural schools. So I've worked with recyclable material quite a bit where we're repurposing old things. Um, and so I have a lot of stock of those types of things in my classroom and thought this would be a great opportunity to use those. Um, so I <clears throat> shared it with my class. They thought it was going to be a great idea. Here are some pictures. Oops, sorry. Here's some pictures of their work. Um, and then in process, we're using uh, chicken wire, uh, old newspaper, recycled. Um, we're using cardboard. Uh, old food containers, uh, utensils, um, just really anything that we have lying around. There's bottle caps. Um, so this is just some of the kids in process working on their stuff. So we, they were all tasked to learn a little bit about their, their marine animals that they were doing. We were doing cods, um, sea turtles, Kemp Ridley's specifically, and uh, puffins. So they all had to do some preliminary drawings, find out facts about their animals, and then um, we made large templates and they worked together in groups to go ahead and start making those animals. So before <coughs> COVID interrupted us, we were <coughs> pretty far along in the process. Some kids had finished construction and they were on to painting. Here's another little puff in here. Um, and this is the group. Um, so, Kids really loved the assignment um, and were super bummed when we had to leave school and had a few of them write to see if they could pick up their animals from school to continue working on them. Um, but overall, it's been a really positive experience. They are all really enjoying working large scale um, and just kind of using materials in a different way than they might have initially been designed for.